what's going on it's my review and reaction to all american season six episode three business is business and i'm so glad they getting back to football now if this your first time here make sure you subscribe to the channel check out the other content click that like button i actually react to the episode as it's going through and i go through each scene now this opening scene i thought was great because they getting back to football and they show spence going to talk to jordan but everything cool right now right he coming up playing the cool thing but i gotta mention something to you dog and he's asking for more touches this is the first conversation where he's like yo dog can i get more touches everything is cool then they show him meeting with different agents and they bring up the fact that bro you need to keep your touches up or your stock will drop in the draft which is true this is why you never really want to announce super early because you don't know how the season gonna go you might get injured you know different things might happen to where it won't be smart for you to come out especially with people getting nil deals and stuff like that now i don't know if they really touched on that on all american but that's what i was seeing from the first scene and i guarantee when spence come back the next time he talked to jordan won't be so nice like yo i mentioned it to you earlier you telling me you going through the game plan and all of this all right cool 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 but you know i need my touches get the ball to me dog and then what make it worse this new coach then got elevated he's officially the oc now he's the offensive coordinator so he gonna be drawing up the plays and as long as he got jordan head long as he got jordan ear jordan gonna be listening to him and he gonna be going to different players and the thing about coach kenny is they really want to replace coach kenny because he's more rebellious so all of this gonna be working against spence but it just popped back on it looked like spence is about to talk to preach so i'm gonna be right back okay we back and i'm liking what i'm seeing so far i think the relationship between i think his name dion and spencer gonna get better spence gonna take him up to the college i won't be surprised if this young dude see spence get into it with jordan when spence take him up there but then also i like that we got to see preach for this moment you also got asha and jabari got to got some screen time finally we barely see jabari but they didn't lost their QB1, so I wonder what they going to do with that situation. And we know Asher most likely going to be the head coach over at that school because, you know, of what happened with the coach. You know, and rest in peace to the brother that was playing that role. And then we got Liv and Grace having great moments. I like when we get to see Grace on screen. She one of my favorite characters, like, you know, she don't get a lot of time, but when she on screen, she usually giving great advice and she's a great actor. So I like seeing her, but they going down memory lane, which is good, right? Because it's going to probably reveal some things about Billy that we didn't know. But the last thing I seen was these scenes with Jordan and Layla and they, they kind of iffy like when i'm listening to layla because she giving jordan great advice but she still ain't worried about the wedding usually it'd be the wife that be like on it about these things because she ready for her big day her big wedding right because you know most of the wedding stuff is for her right so usually the wives be be preparing for that layla ain't worried about it at all and jordan worried about it i don't like that but i do like that layla is showing that she focused on him she know his stats she telling him go for his but jordan kind of passive aggressive and i think that's something that women don't like they don't like a dude that's not going for his and then jordan tell layla every little thing that's going through his mind every little conflict that he have i don't think that's good either and i think they setting it up for Jordan to walk in on Layla and this dude Ryan dancing, which is going to be wild. But it just came back on, so I'm going to come back right after these scenes. Okay, now just like I predicted, the kid Dion was going to be over there watching Spence, and Spence 
was going to wild out. He was going to see them get into it. You had other people, I think agents watching uh, Spence too. Everybody see him wild out. He ends up intercepting Jordan. Now, I got to be honest. This situation is totally unreal. It's no way your star receiver in college, this ain't high school, in college just going to be like, yo, let me play defense. And they going to be like, I just go to the defensive side. No, nah, no, nah, that ain't going to happen. But they just put him on the defensive side. He gets an interception and goes crazy, as he should. Like, yo, bro, this is what I got to do to get the ball. I got to go play defense, get an interception just for you to throw it to me. Like, come on, man. And Spence, the best player they got. That's like, can't even be discussed. He's the best, right? So that's going to continue to be a problem. I really don't know what this coach is trying to do by not getting Spence the ball. It don't even make sense from a coaching standpoint to not be feeding your best player the ball. And while Spence was wilding out, Liv was doing her own damage. She is wilding out, dog. I can't believe she mentioned to Grace about the affair. Like, she straight like, yo, I'm grown now. So they at the table talking, and Liv is talking like she just one of the girls, and she just brought up the affair and then ran out of there after she did. They couldn't even have a conversation afterwards. <laughs> she just ran out of there. So what I think they trying to portray, though, is she's going to run into a bunch of obstacles trying to get this um, book written about Billy. That's what I think they showing. So they showing her running to obstacles with Grace. I bet you that going forward, when she go to Laura, when she go to Jordan, when she go to Spence, she going to keep running into obstacles or it's going to keep being these awkward moments or things that's going to happen that won't be um, looked at as favorable. Right. So as she keep going forward, she going to keep running into things. So I see that's going on. But. Her and Spence both wilding out. But I liked that scene. This whole, both of those scenes. I like both of those scenes. And I like this episode so far. We're going to come back as soon as the next uh, scenes come back. Okay, now we got Liv going back to see Grace. And they finally have this conversation. And remember, I like when Grace on screen, she kind of told why some people cheat. It'd be like an emotional thing. And they go and talk to somebody else about it this is why it's difficult to be friends with the opposite sex man it is because some things you know you get to share some emotions with each other and it's like at the end of the day if they attractive and you attractive then uh, it could go left real quick you know what I mean and I think that's what happened with Billy and Grace but then after that we see Grace is crying about the situation, which is another thing that I expect while Liv go around and try to get information on Billy. Everybody that she goes to is going to be a little issue, and then that person going to have them emotions. It's going to come back up. Now, before we get to the Layla Ryan situation, I do want to talk about the Dion and Spence conversation when they talked about passion. Because this is something that every young man really need to understand. How to control their emotions and how to properly show passion. Because when you do these things incorrectly, it can be very damaging. You could do something that land you in jail. You could do something that costs you your life. Like, for us with the power that we have physically you gotta know how to control them things so i love that they had that conversation from an older man to a young man and just trying to guide them through life and the truth about it is even though spence just gave dion that one conversation that one conversation makes a difference in people life like you can talk to a person for one time and they can remember that 
forever. So you got to understand energy that you put out and always try to give people the proper guidance. Now, speaking of the proper guidance, Layla is bucking. First off, she dancing with another dude. Then she forgot about the wedding. I'm convinced they not getting married. It ain't going to work. First off, why are you confiding with another dude so much? And the thing about Layla, she very damaged. She will be a chick that if the thing don't work out with Jordan, she most likely will go on throughout her life and never be with the person that she's supposed to be with or never be with a guy that treats her well. See, these be the chicks that get older and be like, ain't no good guys out here. You had the good guy back in college. You blew it. Or they get old and, man, all dogs, all guys are dogs. No, they not. You blew it with the good guys. I see Layla going down that path. And I see Jordan possibly being successful. But I did see a scene that made me think, ah, I hope they don't go down this path with Jordan. <laughs> because we kind of know Spence going to make it to the NFL. Jordan not. At least that's what I think. Spence going to make it to the NFL. Jordan not going to make it to the NFL. They show a scene with Jordan sitting down with his coach. And he's really taking a liking to this coach, right? Coach got a little liquor just like Billy had. So, you know, it's reminding him of his dad, right? But then he takes a drink with his coach. I hope they don't go down the path where Jordan becomes an alcoholic. But for some reason, when I seen that scene, I thought about this an older movie. Y'all might not. But the Temptations, when they like, yo, Paul never even used to take a drink. Then he ended up being an alcoholic. But I I thought about that when Jordan took that drink, man. I hope they don't go down that path with him. But I can see it, you know, especially once him and Layla don't work out. And I definitely don't think they're going to work out. You really can see the difference between Layla and Jordan relationship and their dynamics. Sometimes Layla, you know, she beat her and Jordan beat her for her. You know, I mean, they beat her for each other, but it always seemed like Jordan complaining and it always seemed like Layla is just numb. Maybe it's from losing her mom. Maybe it's for what happened with Carrie, but she just ain't there. Maybe it's because she didn't been with a lot of dudes. You know, hey, hey, and I know people might not like me saying that, but hey, it could, that could be part of it because when, Man and women get together when a man and a woman get together, right? It's like, even though we are having sex, we having a different experience because the man is in a more dominating, typically, I, especially when you're dealing with masculine men, we in more a more dominating role and women are in a more submissive role. So we're not having the same experience even though we're having sex, right? So when a woman is dealing with a bunch of different dudes, that means she's, you know, being dominated sexually by a bunch of different dudes. And the thing about dudes is we dominate different. So one dude might just be, you know, he might just be hitting it and be quiet when he hit me, you know. Then another dude like to talk. Yeah, yeah, this, you know. And then you got... Dudes that like to put their foot on chicks' heads and other dudes like to give girls golden showers and then it just get crazier and crazier. You see what I'm saying? So it's a different experience dealing with multiple people depending on the sex, in my opinion. Unless you're dealing with a weaker man that be liking to get dominated by women. But typically, them are weaker men. Masculine men don't go out like that. But even though Layla and Jordan relationship is shaky right now, I like where Liv and Spence relationship is at. And besides the relationship stuff, they hit us with a big turn of events at the end. And I was thinking, who's going to be the QB? Is it going to be my dog from BMF? But I'm like, he probably ain't going to come back to, to all America. He on BMF, but he might because I do the reviews for BMF too. Right. And I took a break because I didn't want to just keep bashing that show. But 
that show probably don't be last ain't gonna last long i know people want to keep it because it's bmf and it's legendary but it, it's it's some pretty bad writing acting and production on that show i mean it's kind of god awful right that's why i took a break from it so he might be coming back so i'm like yo who gonna be the qb and in walks in wade and i was thinking about the other dude too i think his name was chris i'm like maybe they gonna bring him back like i don't know who they gonna bring back they brought back wade which should cause quite some controversy going forward i can imagine man so i'm here for it y'all let me know what did y'all think of this last episode i know i went off on a bunch of different things remember if you're still here make sure you subscribe to the channel check out the other content click that like button and like always y'all be easy be safe peace